Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, and some few other updates you need to know in this one. Yesterday, I brought you an update concerning some of the leagues that have begun, and we had the likes of Brandon Thomas Asante playing, um, Fosin Amankwa, Mohamed Kudus, you know, some were friendly matches, and some were also competitive games. And today, let's talk about some more other updates from Black Stars players. Goals are coming in, assists are also flowing, and some impressive performances from our Ghanaian boys. And I know Coach Otto Ado, he's scouting them and he's watching to pick the best that we are going to use to play against Angola and, um, you know, talking of Niger in next month's African Cup of Nations qualifier that we are going to play on the 5th and ninth respectively. So let's talk about it. Um, we will look at a lot of players in this updates. I've also seen that this morning Thomas Pate is playing against NS Nuama and some few other transfer updates that we'll talk about in this one. If you join us, take your time and like the video for me. After that, if you are new, subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notifications so that anytime we drop the latest update, you'll be the first person to get. And also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box. After watching the video, share the link for me so that others will also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel. Also give first part of shout out in this one and bring you more shout out in my subsequent updates. So let's quickly begin from here. Before we talk about players, transfers, and some few other ones, let me talk a little bit about yesterday's game between West Ham United and South Avigo. It was a friendly match. It ended 2-2. Kudus played, and um, he played 88 minutes. And later on, I got to know that, yes, um, we had Joseph Edu. He came on to even captain the South Avigo team and also scored a penalty for them in that 6-5 penalty loss against West Ham United. Yes, Samir Dakon actually prompted me under the last video. So, thank you, Samir Dakon. So, after the game, we saw Kudus and Joseph Edu, the Ghanaian defender for South Avigo. They took a very beautiful picture, as you can see it on your screens. So, that is a Ghanaian link-up in that particular friendly match that they played. And that is it also in there. Yesterday, we also had Ibrahim Sadiq. He scored the only goal for AZ Akman in the game they played in the Netherlands Eredivisie. And this boy is really fantastic. Ibrahim Sadiq, I brought you updates when he was playing for BK Haken. He moved to join. Um, that is talking of AZ Akman last season. Last season, he did some impressive works. And this season, he has also begun well, scoring the only goal in the game for them against Amir City in the Netherlands Eredivisie. So he scored on the fourth minute. He played 57 minutes and had a rating of 7 out of 10 via so far score. 38 touches for him. He attempted 20 passes. 17 were completed, which is some 85%. He also continued to give three crosses, one long ball, one shot on target, and this some few other stuff that I don't really want to waste time on them. Now, let me move on to Belgium and talk about KV Westello versus Union St. Julia. Union St. Julia, we have one Ghanaian attacker or striker that is talking of Mohamed Fuseni. He also did very well for Randers in Denmark last season and he moved on to join USG. And yesterday, he started and completed 90 minutes. He scored on the 71st minute for his side as they tried to do a comeback. But that comeback was not complete because they considered too many goals. 4 3 in favor of KV Westello against the Ghanaian um, side that is talking of um, USG. So one goal for him, and he has, you know, begun so well. 7.2 rating for him. We will still follow Mohamed Fuseni and bring you updates on his progress. Let me also move away from that and talk about one boy, this striker. He is not yet a Ghanaian, let me put it that way. Even though he can play for Ghana, he can also play for Germany. But for now, Ragnar Achi last season, we mentioned him a lot because he scored over 20 goals for his side, Kazai Slotin. And this season, he has also started again. Yesterday, Kazai Slotin were down by two goals to one when he was introduced into the game. He came on and he scored that equalizer for them. And it was impressive. He scored on the 84th minute to make sure that the game will end 2-2. Kazai Slotin. They have begun well. First match, they won away. And second match, yesterday, they pressed. They did everything possible, but they couldn't um, get that particular goal over there. So, Ragnarchi, we should watch out for him. 7.3 rating for him. And this and few other stuff that I don't really want to waste much time on. Now, this morning, I've seen a lot of friendly matches going on. And um, this afternoon as well. Let me add it. Because Thomas Partey, as of this time speaking, he has played 60 minutes plus with the Arsenal team. And they are playing against Olympic Lyon. Arsenal. Is leading by two goals to none. As the game has not ended, I don't really want to talk about his rating and everything, but I'll put it here so that you enjoy it. Pate is playing and he is also doing so well. I've also seen that NS Nuama, yes, he has also been introduced into the game to do some few other stuff. I also place his performance here. So Arsenal versus Olympic Lyon is a friendly game that they are playing ahead 
of next season and that is also a good one for them let me move on and talk um, a little bit about this then we come to the transfer update st gallen they are also in action against grasshoppers and st gallen just won by one goal to know black stars goalkeeper lawrence artizgi he was in between the sticks as usual because for him he's starting every game for st gallen if you're a second choice goalkeeper st gallen unless you find a new club because see every day <laughs> well artizgi he did what 7.6 rating for him 90 minutes he made four saves in the game two saves were inside the box one high claim for him catches were 37 goalkeeper completing 20 passes out of 27 is out of this world you know goalkeepers you know that he sent 11 long balls four were accurate and there's some few other stuff for his side that is saint gallen and that is it also on lawrence Altizigi. let me talk a little bit about these transfer updates there is this defender who is a ghanaian that is talking of patrick pfeiffer recently he has confirmed that he has switched nationality from germany to ghana he said initially he was having some few issues with his ghanaian passport but now after the last season he came to ghana and completed everything so he is now a new player who can come in and do work for the black stars team so the player he is requesting um you know to move away from the club that is talking of a um, osberg in the german modesiga he has put in transfer requests that if he gets a new club he wants to join them because of playing minutes he's not getting a lot of playing minutes at the club at the moment and he cannot wait for the season to start and he will always be on the bench so according to reports you are receiving some clubs are interested in the german modesiga and german modesiga too if he gets opportunity he would like to join them and that is it on black stars defender patrick pfeiffer he said it in the last interview that he had that he's expecting that coach Otto Addo is going to give him opportunity to play against Angola and um, that is talking of Niger next man. So let's wait and see how his progress will also go. A little bit on Daniel Amate. I brought you an update about a week or two that Daniel Amate, his club side, that is Besiktas in Turkey, they wanted to send a boy to um, you know Saudi Arabia. Even the club in Saudi Arabia booked a, a private jet brought it to Turkey. the player said no he will not board that flight so he didn't move from the club besiktas and for now he has been excluded from match day squad and a whole lot of stuff and basically the player is not happy we understand that right now two clubs have also shown interest from saudi arabia and the club is actually having talks with them if they agree this time around we understand um you know daniel amate would like to move on from besiktas and join one of these clubs the clubs are yet to be determined but according to the latest from um autistic yes they are actually confirming that saudi arabian clubs have started negotiations with the shifters on daniel amate and if everything goes through we will see him moving from the Turkish super side and join one of the um, you know, clubs in Saudi Arabia. We will still follow and bring you guys updates on this channel. So these are some of the few ones players will be playing and I'll bring you more performances in here together with some interesting stuff ahead of us because Blasters players are doing well. Round for a work on his Dofa scoring, Inyaki Williams in some good form in the preseason, Semenyo also doing his best, mention them Kudus and the rest. We only have to put the team together and make sure we fix our defense. Goalkeeping and Blasters team will start, um, you know, getting hot. We all want to get in the coming competition. So, guys, these are the latest updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Now, let me give shout outs here. Yes, Samed Akon, I pinned your comments yesterday. Thank you so much. I've also seen Ion Fanatabi, you also here. Um, Noom Joseph, okay, thank you for being here. Bright Ando is also on this channel. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, then I have Vosha Silvanos. I've seen your comments. Dacha Hene is also on this channel. Then I have the Raf, the day IT. Thank you, the Raf. Um, Gideon Akakbo is also on this channel. Maswodus um, Osman. Is it Masawudus? Okay. Or Masawood Osman. Masawood Osman. Thank you. I appreciate you. Haruna Muhammad is also on this channel. Gideon Akakbo is here. Imano Mengo is here. Dacha Hene is here. Gloga is also here. Agana Rachel. Thank you. Um, Awudu Yoro Malik. Thank you. I appreciate you. Foster Maunya, you are also here. Campus promo, you are also on this channel. Samuel Bimpon, I appreciate you. Grandma Solomon in Trust CBC here. Jason Grant, you are also here. Andrews, DJ Optimistic is back. Thank you. And Mr. Bronzy, you are also here. I've seen you. Prosper Kwajo is also on this channel. Dachi Hene, Israel Agba, Ofori Bruce, Ima8485. And I'll bring you more shout outs in my subsequent updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.